Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back down in the shop. We got two different shop vacs out here today. We've got the Milwaukee. This is, you know, I call these type uh, toolbox style shop vacs. Very, very convenient, folks. Uh, that's a two gallon from Milwaukee, M18. And this is a three and a half gallon from Bauer, folks. We're doing honest, honest comparison today. I'm gonna show you what they both cost. And we're gonna go through all the features, show you if they work. And in the end, I'll tell you which one I would pick. Which one would you pick? Let's get started. All right, folks, before we get into it, I just want to talk a little bit about price and what made me decide to go with it. And, you know, I've got the Milwaukee, tried and true, works fantastic, was looking for a second one. And then in my email popped up a little 25% uh, off from Harbor Freight. And uh, I read it real closely because a lot of times it doesn't include Bauer, but in this case it did. So I picked up the Bauer three and a half gallon. You can see it right there with tax from 47.46. I'm all in at that price, folks. A lot of similarities, a few differences. Uh, let's dive into Milwaukee, compare it to the Bauer. I tell you what, let's first take a look at the price of the Milwaukee. All right, so I looked all over for the best price for the Milwaukee. Amazon didn't have it, but Home Depot did. Now remember, this is without the battery for a hundred bucks there. You can see the ones with the batteries, 239, and there's another one that's 300 almost. This did not include the battery, folks. Obviously I got it for 47 bucks, but regularly sells for 60 bucks. For me, that's when I'm getting a second one, that's uh, kind of a big deal. Let's look at the specific specifics of uh, Milwaukee. 45 CFM, which, and we'll show you the bower, but it's exactly the same. They're always recommending in these shop back things that you run the biggest battery. I've got five amp hour, five amp hour, so it'd be apples against apples there. Hose diameter talks about um, inch, and, inch and a quarter hose diameter. Two gallon capacity, uh, they're saying with the battery, uh, thinking you will get 30 plus minutes of runtime with the M18 red lithium high demand 9.0 battery pack. I don't know if that's nine amp hour. That's a big battery pack. Holy smokes! <laughs> let's let's look at the specs on the uh, on the old at HarborFreight.com, and they're comparing it against the Ryobi, uh, three and a half gallon, 45 CFM, same as the Milwaukee washable filter, it's, uh, everything is pretty much the same weight. Weight is an uh, awesome comparison, uh, although I believe the Milwaukee comes in a little bit heavier, but you can see 60 bucks for the bearer unit. Uh, I, I got mine for 47, which I thought was a phenomenal deal. Let's, uh, let's open them up and take a closer look. All right, when it comes to hoses, they both have this very flexible style of hose. Obviously the Milwaukee one is still flexible. So I've been using this for a couple years. It, it's been used, but it's got the same type of, uh, attachments there it's got the, the same attachments too where you've got a uh, on, on the bower side you've got you know one of one of these i believe you've got the same thing on the milwaukee and you also got a crevice tool same thing i believe you have with the milwaukee all right so there, there are some differences to how this stores so on the milwaukee you've got this that lifts up and then your uh your hose goes on the inside here and attaches real nice and easy just like that. Your battery is also on the inside right there. And you can see we've got five amp hour in there. Uh, a little bit different on the bower. So on the bower, you've got it, it stores on the, the hose stores on the outside and it's, it stores pretty securely right there. And I, I think they did that so you can give you more volume on the inside. And then uh, to attach it, just take it off. And then it does have this uh, positive catch right there which is which is plastic and it goes on just like that and you can't pull it out I, I you know and also instead of having the battery on the uh, inside like the Milwaukee does it's got theirs on the outside but they've got it kind of protected right there they they both feature both sides to have you know one side an intake the other side a blower pretty much apples to apples there one thing I do prefer about the Milwaukee is that you've got the on and off switch, a nice big right here. On the uh, bower, you got to kind of play around with it a little bit. It's underneath the handle there to protect it. But uh, it's, you know, you get used to it and it shouldn't be any big deal. On Milwaukee, to empty it out, you've got a latch on both sides like this. Just open it up like that and then pull it out. Here's your washable filter. And then there's <laughs> a well-used, you know, and, and they both, like I said, they both are wet dry so you can use them both and I, I tell you what folks this style of vacuum cleaner regardless whether it's a bower milwaukee ryobi whatever they are very very nice to have and very convenient on a job site sometimes you're just 
you just got to do a little bit and pull out something that's big and corded and you know just to have something like this I, I i find myself reaching for something like this or something like this more than i do the bigger ones all right bauer same thing you got a latch over on both sides you open it up and uh there's your filter and uh, like i said this is uh, wet dry also got a little bit bigger capacity about a gallon and a half bigger capacity and for, for some of you folks that might make a that might make a difference but uh I'll tell you what let's uh let's see how they will claim to be 45 cfm let's see how well you know, we, we talk about price in these systems and you've seen me use my walkie and i love my walkie stuff but there you know i've always wanted some there, there's some stuff that i don't use a whole lot and it, it's really hard for me to pay the top dollar price of a milwaukee and especially when it comes to the batteries because basically that's it if you if all you got is milwaukee batteries then that's probably all you're going to use and uh i'll tell you what kind of make the switch over and you know you have your favorite tools your you know heavy duty stuff be milwaukee but the stuff you don't use maybe as often or something that you know you know a vacuum cleaner you know, I hate to say this, a vacuum is a vacuum. Maybe not all the time, but when it comes down to it, it's just, it's just the batteries. Let's, let's see, we got the five amp hour in there on the bower. Got some stainless steel screws sitting out there. Let's uh, see how they do, ready? Not a problem. Let's see how the Milwaukee does. All right, let's see how the Milwaukee does. All right, there it is, the Bauer versus the Milwaukee, folks. I got both, and I'll, I think I'm going to like them a lot. I know I like this one. Everything I see in this one tells leads me to believe that I'm going to like this one a little bit. You know, and, and you know what? When it comes to weight, a little bit lighter over there. I might, I might enjoy holding this a little bit better than holding that as I get older. For you, you young guys out there, probably not a big difference. Tom Horseman, YouTube, which one of these would you choose? Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, appreciate you watching, folks. Thank you.